now as we speak. Let's catch up with our next guest and find out what he thinks. He's been actually tooting the same horn for a long time. Dr. Norel Rubini, chairman of Rubini Global Economics and a professor at NYU Stern School of Business. Ru uh, Noriel, good evening to you and thank you for coming in us on a Sunday evening. What is going on over there? Lehman going to call it quits. Merrill BOA getting together. What on earth did you do over the weekend in New York? Uh, well, it's a financial disaster. We're in the middle of a severe financial and banking crisis is going to get worse. You know, a few months ago, I predicted that most broker dealers are going to collapse. First was Bear Stearns in March. Today is Lehman. Tomorrow is going to be Merrill having to merge with Bank of America. I don't think that even Morgan Stanley or Goldman Sachs are going to be able to remain independent. Their entire business model for all of them is fundamentally flawed at this point. So they have to merge with a larger financial institution. But th this didn't, nothing caught these banks, uh, you know, by surprise. The undercurrents have been going on a long time. Subprime's been with us, well, over a year. You would think the time has been on their side to get their house in order, to clean up their capital base, uh, to fix up their uh, various levels of, uh, of uh, uh, in inherent risk, and they have not done that? No, this was not just a subprime mortgage problem. It was subprime, was near prime, was prime was home equity loans, was CDOs, was MBSs, commercial real estate, credit cards, auto loans, student loans, leverage loans, corporate bonds, money bonds. You add it all up, you end up with $2 trillion of credit losses. Of course, most of these financial institutions are insolvent and they could raise capital, it's never been enough because the losses are much bigger than their ability to raise capital. So all of them will have to essentially merge with other financial institutions. They're not gonna survive. What is the, uh, uh, is there some formula that, uh, that, that you've been able to nail down? Is, are there certain types of banks, the ones that you talk about as those that will not survive, tend to not, they're not the city banks or the, or the BOAs with a wide spectrum of activity, but those that are focused on very narrow, or more narrow, I should say, uh, parts of the market. Is being uh, focused and, uh, uh, you know, basically trying to, uh, stick to one or two core competencies actually a curse nowadays? Well, the problem with the independent broker dealers is uh, several. First, this model of originate, distribute, securitization was generating fee, now it's collapsed, so those revenues are gone. Secondly, now that they have access to the Fed support, they have to be regulated like banks with higher liquidity, higher capital and lower leverage, how they're going to make money. But their more fundamental problem is that all of them borrow very short term and liquid ways practically overnight in the repo market. They are leveraged like crazy and they lend invest in longer term. Now this problem of a maturity mismatch in the case of banks leads to risk of a run on in illiquid but solvent banks. In the case of broker dealers it's even a bigger problem because banks have deposit insurance and banks have access to the lend last resort support of the Fed. While these independent broker dealers don't have a stable depositor base and there is limited access to the support of the Fed. So they're fundamentally flawed. They cannot survive as they are. They have to become part of a larger financial institution with a commercial banking uh, arm that has a stable base of deposits. They're all begun. Yesterday was Merrill, today is go yesterday was Bear, today is gonna be Lehman, tomorrow is Merrill, and all the other ones are also gonna disappear, in my view. Let's take Merrill as a case in point. When John Thane arrived from the NYSE, he started chopping off the parts like a, a surgeon trying to excise the cancer from a, a sick patient. That has not been successful. Uh, you know, if, if the Thane prescription to clean up Merrill has not worked, uh, what could possibly work? Or is it so systemic and so infrastructural that there are no measures that can be taken after the fact to, uh, to, to clean things up? You cannot clean it up. You have a mass of toxic assets whether these are CDOs or MBSs or commercial real estate or other ones, you know, Merrill tried to sell its CDOs at 22 cents on the dollar to Lone Star, but the first 25% of the losses are going to be taken by Lone Star. If the losses are bigger, it goes back to the balance sheet of, uh, of Merrill. Those assets could be worth only 5 cents on the dollar. So the selling price is not even 22, it might be 5 at the end of the day. So mm -hmm. there is no bottom to the write downs, there is no bottom to the losses. That's the fundamental problem. They have a mass of toxic assets on their balance sheets, and if you want to work them out, you have to sell them at the market value. 
And if you sell them at the market value, the write downs mm -hmm. are so big that you are essentially insolvent. You have more mm -hmm. liability than assets, and therefore nobody mm -hmm. wanted to buy the, uh, the, the Lehman uh, Brothers because exactly when you mark down the assets of Lehman Brothers, it's worth less than its liability. So you couldn't buy it at any positive price unless the government was taking the toxic assets off the balance sheet. And the government said, mm -hmm. enough of moral hazard this time around. Okay, give me a really quick answer. I've only got half a minute left before we go into a break. Why no federal money? This is, there, there, there will never be another LTCM, doctor? No, there's not going to be another Bear Stearns because the Bear Stearns was essentially borderline illegal, as Paul Vork had said. There's no fundamental mm -hmm. reason why the U.S. taxpayer should be bailing out financial institutions. You had reckless okay. lenders, reckless investors. You need punishment mm -hmm. at this point. Noriel?